Welcome, Seinfeld fans. Thanks for tuning in. Please support the podcast by supporting our sponsors, Magic Mind. Go to magicmind.com, Seinfeld Podcast 20 for 20% off. Magic Mind, all natural ingredients, matcha, ashwanda, lion's mane mushrooms, all that good stuff. Check it out, folks. Thank you so much. MagicMind.com, Seinfeld Podcast 20. Welcome to this podcast is making me thirsty. The number one destination for Seinfeld fans. This is two up and two down. Here's our producer, Chris, to start us off. All right. Welcome back, thirsty fans. Another episode of two up and two down. Today, we are doing the gymnast, a season six episode. And Tony, let's go over to you. What's your first up? Two up and two down. Uh, we're given two positives and two negatives for this episode. The gymnast, uh, Berg and Schaefer, uh, better, uh, you know, one of the better writing teams went on to great things. And, uh, you know, they definitely had some, some solid Seinfeld episodes. Um, this is a solid season six episode. This is what a season six episode is kind of all about. This is a quintessential season six episode, if you will. Um, but you know what? My ups, my ups are all going to kind of be in the similar realm, if you will. And, uh, I'm going to start with, with one of our favorites back at monks. We love the back at monks conversations where, uh, George is explaining to Jerry how he, uh, ate the egg Claire, uh, great conversation between the two of them. Uh, you think to yourself, what the hell? I'll just eat some trash. You know, it was above the rim. Was it eaten? Did I, he's like, you, my friend have crossed the line that divides man and bum, you know, adjacent to refuse is refuge. Just a great back and forth conversation. This is what Seinfeld's all about. Jerry and George having their conversation. You know, this up there with, you, know, you need a team. This is up there with, uh, you know, you, you're not in the mood for details. This is up there. This is one of the better George and Jerry back and forth, you know, adjacent to refuse is refuse. I use it quite often. Uh, that is my first, uh, thumbs up. Excellent the- choice there. Uh, great up. So Chris, over to you. What's your, uh, first up. Agreed. Berg and Schaefer. And you know, I love those back at monks analyzing the stupidity of these two. It was great. You know, no, not to piggyback, but I guess to go a little back in time, I'm going to take the, the incident. I mean, but setting the stage, actually setting the stage, George, Actually talking about, you know, if I could talk to the mothers and have sex with the daughters, unbelievable. But just at the apartment with <laughs> Lindsay and her mom, na 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 and Aunt Phyllis. I mean, Aunt Phyllis, I mean, uh, just the names of, in this is just incredible. So uh, for me, and then obviously eating the garbage, obviously an all-time scene, uh, as good as it gets, uh, Costanza-wise. And then, as Tony mentioned, obviously the aftermath, the discussion. So it's it's uniting those two that make this show so special. Uh, and boy, they they really hit on that in this season six episode. So the whole Costanza talk to the mothers and just how good he is with <laughs> with the the ants and the that unbelievable. So that's my first one up, Georgie boy. Yeah, another great one. So yeah, great seeing again, uh, Tony. Over to you. What's your uh, second up? Yeah, I mean, that's two ups, in my opinion. He's even said he combined two, but that's all right. It takes them both off my list here. I'm better with the mothers. I, I count it as its own up, but the Nini Nana, love it. Uh, I, I'd love to argue if I could, Mr. Enright, argue if I could. He goes in uh, with the with the food. Uh, yeah, incredible, George. Just just an incredible George episode, uh, up and down this one. Um, I mean, that was two of mine, uh, but I do have a few others written down. Um, since we covered a lot of George, one of my ones written down is another George, but I'm going to take a step and I'm going to move into the Kramer direction for my second up. Uh, behold the 94, 1984 (laughs) Olympiad, you know, sits down with the tape. They're all watching it. Double twist. He does the whole thing. Uh, great scene. All their faces. Kramer does a, does a great, you know, play by play. Um, you know, perhaps you like to keep the tape, uh, just a quick, quick scene. Sums up the K-Man well. Sums up him and Jerry's relationship well. Um, uh, so that's my second. My second up is the uh, the '84 Olympics VHS tape of uh, Tatiana uh, doing her thing. So uh, that's my uh, my second up. Great, solid one there too. All right, Chris, over to you. What's your second up? Incredible K-Man. How he had that tape. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, for me next, yeah, I got a bunch of ups here, but you know, and I did like that one Kramer, but I'm going to go Elaine. I think it was still cutesy Elaine. 
obviously the whole Molin Spring thing was incredible. Hard chewing the gum and swap some stock, do a stop swap. Like I always, <laughs> I always like her voice in that uh, describing the stock swap, um, and then obviously kind of the cutesy toughness when she breaks the uh, the picture thing with Mister Pitt and she's like, get get a control yourself. It was Elaine the way we love Elaine, more controlled cutesy anger versus rough bitchy anger if does that make sense so for me elaine molen spring the whole thing second up yeah great point with elaine i love the qt elaine over the uh the more strong-headed uh angry elaine that that we see later on so yeah good up there uh so strong ups uh what we got for downs uh tony back to you what's your first down here yeah, I, you know, I don't have a lot of downs here, um, and, and the downs I do have, uh, they're, they're, you know, it, it, this is a tough episode to find downs because it's just a solid episode, right? It's it's just an hour. It's 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 a really good season six episode, just solid. Um, you know, I did like the swap stocks thing with Elaine, but I didn't love the. I, I'm not a Mister Pitt fan. I don't know. Uh, he ne- I never been sold on Mister Pitt. Um, I, you know, I did have an up written down. We'll get to me when you give grades though. Uh, but, but overall pit stuff, I don't love. And so my down here is, is the ending, the, the Hitler ending. Um, I, I'm probably one of the only people maybe that's going to say that it, it's, you know, for what it is, it's funny. And it's, and it's, you know, it's, we get it, you know, the whole ink on the, on the nose and, you know, the whole thing, but I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's Mr. Pitt, I think, is really my down, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm tying it into the ending because I did like some of the other stuff he did, but I think there was a lot of Pitt in this episode, I guess is what I'm getting at. Maybe too much Mr. Pitt. Um, this might be one of his bigger episodes besides maybe the Woody Woodpecker one. Um, I don't know. Pitt, Pitt always rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, it wasn't my favorite of all the bosses throughout the series, and uh, I'm going to have to go a slight down. Uh I'm going to tie it into the Hitler ending part of it as, as my down for uh, for this one, my first one. Okay, yeah, see your point there. All right, uh, Chris, over to you. What's your first down? Well, Tony's always tough on Mr. Pitt. He's a Lipman guy. We know this. We know this. It's tough to – big shoes to fill, as they say. Uh, yeah, it's weird. It's it's one of those one of those really solid episodes to find some downs, to kind of look for lines and things like that. And I'm going to go with one because it, it it was a down of uh, Tony's and, a, and a, uh, another two up, two down we had. The uh, Katia, her her circus speech. Oh, when I was a little girl, like it reminded me of uh, the cleaning lady, the cleaning woman from the Red Dot. Kind of that little sob story. And, and when I was a little girl, my father, blah, blah, blah. I think that was just a little much. Um I enjoy. I did enjoy Katya and Jerry, a little, you know, Ceausescu, all that stuff. But the little story there at the end and, like, uh, the boyfriend there and all that, that's – it was a li- slight down. I just think they went a little much. It was a little extra, probably not needed per se, but uh, Katya's little speech, first down. Yeah, I can see where that falls a little flat. Uh, so, yeah, uh, good point there. Uh, Tony, your second down, what do you have? Yeah, thank you for that, Katya. I think I might have called her. Um, uh, what did I call her earlier? I called her. Uh, I, I called her the name of the girlfriend from the uh, Chinese restaurant, I believe. Tatiana. Tatiana I might have called her, but uh, yeah, good call there. Um, my second down is is the cr- the Kramer kidney stone. Um, again, I, I'm trying to find downs here. I didn't write a lot down. I think the kidney stone stuff. Um, you know, you give Kramer something like that, he's going to knock it out of the park. But I, I just think there was a little, it, it, it was a little bit, Chris likes it, a little bit forced. I don't know. I think it was just one of those things to drive the story, to get something at the end, to get the guy fall off the thing. There was a lot, um, you know, I, I don't know. It just seemed like that's all they did. Kramer had a kidney stone and that's, that's his storyline. Let him run with it. And, and, and he did. And Michael Richards is going to do what he's going to do, obviously. But, you know, and then he really the, the big part too when he falls off his couch, I was trying to hit a double heck or whatever. Like, OK, fine. Just watch the tape. Now he's doing gymnastics in his apartment. I don't know. My, my down here is really the, the, the Kramer, the Kramer storyline with the kidney stone um, could have been could have been something else. I think I think they just kind of gave gave the K-Man something to do. And, and obviously they thought he'd just be able to run with it. And it's kind of uh, the writing there. I think, you know, that's kind of uh, 
I don't want to say a cop out. I mean, we're not talking about a horrible uh, storyline here, but we're looking for downs. And so that's my second down. Yeah, I guess that uh, kidney stone things gives the Kramer a chance to do some physical stuff, you know, and act and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, all right, that's a good down. Uh, Chris, what's your second down? Yeah, it's funny. I, I enjoyed Kramer's description at Monks of of the kidney stones and how it's passed. I, I found that actually kind of interesting um, and funny, but I get it. As it went on, I guess enough was enough. Yeah, looking for downs. I had a. I actually have a couple more here, but this is kind of just a throwaway line. And I know it's a famous line, and you guys are probably going to call me crazy, but the line, you know, you can really talk some trash, but I guess that's better than eating it. You know, in retro, whenever I hear the line, I'm like, oh, it's so fun. But then Kramer was telling him a story about like dis- discussing Kama Sutra and all this stuff, like all these sex positions, like he wasn't talking trash. Like, so I felt like they just like forced it in so they can get that joke of eating the trash in. And again, as an analyst here, this is me live watching it today. I picked up on it and I thought it was, uh, you know, uh, just a little sloppy just to force in that joke about eating gar- talking trash. Like there was no kind of, reason for him to say it so for me it's a it's a throwaway line but and i know it's a hot joke and the whole thing i get it but for me that's my uh second down the you know talking some trash better than eating it line from jerry all right well there you have it the ups and the downs so uh we're gonna go back to tony uh what's your overall overall grade for uh the gymnast yeah, I mean, I've, I've been kind of dancing around this grade. I'm thinking I've, you probably have an idea of where I'm going with this. So, you know, funnily enough, two of my downs, uh, the, the K-Man and Mr. Pitt, I actually love them combined. Uh, when they were looking at the thing together, is the K-Man and Mr. Pitt. Might be the only time in the series you see the K-Man and Mr. Pitt together looking at the looking at the picture, the 3D art. Um, kind of like that little piece. I almost used it as an up. And obviously we love George, no encumbrances and, you know, coming out with no shirt on. This was a George episode, right? This is, this is quintessential George. This is, this is teetering on the fire in the conversion kind of George dominates the episode, but nothing else elevates it all the way to a territory. I, I can't give this a territory on, on just a solid Costanza, you know, even though we love Nini Nani, we love Ann Phyllis, uh, you know, the whole thing eating trash, but I, I can't go in the A's, right? So that leaves us with a couple of grades here. I've been teetering on two, but I think I'm confident landing on this one. And I think it sums up season six for me. And this is, like I said, from the start, this is a solid season six episode. And that's going to give you a solid B. The gymnast is just a straight up B. Um, I'm not going to argue a B plus. Um, I think if you get higher than that, I, I don't think it deserves that. Lower than that, even maybe, I, I don't know. We can see where that goes, but I'm landing on just a straight up B. It's not showing off. It's not lagging behind. It, it's just a straight up B episode for the gymnast. Uh, season six, Berg Schaefer. All right, there you have it. Tony gives it a B. Uh, Chris, what's your grade? Yeah, Tony's lack of enthusiasm here is kind of bringing me down on this grade, but I, I, I'm going to stick to my notes here, okay, folks? So he's down on Kramer, he's down on Pitt. Uh, I get it, but just get a solid Kramer Pitt up. Yeah, I know, just historically, it, overall. I, and I think the beauty of this show is two ups, two downs. Like we're highlighting ones, but there's a lot we don't get into, right? I mean, I love George back on the couch, right, with Jerry calling up Lindsay. You know, gets back with it the first time. And then the second time, he has to explain it. Strike two. (laughs) I love that. Um, I love George getting the flowers. A line I use all the time. You call this coffee. He throws it on the windshield. And then he's, you know, doing the thing. Uh, To your point, great, George. I thought Jerry was really solid. Kind of quarterback in the show. The apparatus discussion with Elaine I thought was pretty funny and interesting. Uh this is season six of Lane. I think she was really good. Mullen Sprang, breaking the thing, the whole thing I told you. I know you're a little tougher on Kramer than this than I am. All that said, Ceausescu, the whole I love Katya. Man, we'd love to have her on the show. Gymnast is a B plus. You know, Berg and Schaefer, I think he made a great point. A territory is a little strong, but I think it's a really, really good season six episode. 
Okay. No, no Sharonis. We, we know that. But I think this, this, this has a little season five feel to it. So B plus for the gymnasts. I, and I, and I agree. And I had B plus as my other grade. And this is just a case of you giving George the extra bump. This is a George episode. 100%. Everything you mentioned, the, 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 the couch, I love the explaining stuff, the Lindsay on the phone, all that's George, 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 George. BB plus. Yeah. We're, we're in the same ballpark. Just want to add that. Well, there you have it folks. It's a B and B plus respectively. Uh, and that's, you know, the gymnast, it's a fun watch always. So uh, thank you guys and everybody let's tune into the next one. Thanks. <laughs>